How's it? Welcome to the University of Arizona Great Salsa Challenge where we separate the wildcats from the mildcats. All right, we're here at Reforma Restaurant in Tucson. They've been such great hosts. We appreciate them, the, the, the food, the drink, but most importantly, the salsa. We got six salsas. We got two cats right here. We got Pella Larson at the end there. We got Grant Whiteman right here. Uh, before we dip, I, I want you guys to explain your roles on the team because you you, you are leading the scout team and you are potentially part of the first team. So tell me how you see your roles. Yeah, uh, you know, lead the scout team, help us in any way, you know, support the team, cheer, help scout for opponents, you know, just work hard at practice and do what I can. Who, who, who's, who, who's the scout guy that you've liked playing the most? Boogie Ellis. Boogie, Boogie and, why, and why is that? Because he shoots it a lot. So it's, <laughs> it's the most fun to be, for sure. All right, Pella, you, you know, you've been sixth man of the year. You know, you know, everybody wants to start. It's really not if you start, it's if you finish on the court. But right. how do you see your role going into this season? Uh, you know, apart from Grant and me, uh, I'm one of the guys that have been here the longest. So uh, I probably know the system pretty well by now. So just help the other guys understand it and then do my part as well. When you say system, what's that mean? I uh, just how, you know, coach Tommy wants to play and uh, how, how he wants to get up and down. So it's an adjustment for everyone coming into a new school or something like that. So let it rip, let it rip. Yeah. Let it dip. Okay. <laughs> here we go with the chip. First one. All right. First one's right here. You can reach in here if you want Grant. Sweet. Sweet. Nice, right? That's fine. It's good salsa. Good, good stuff, it's right? Good stuff, yeah. And you're a little bit of salsa expert. Uh, Where'd you get that from? Uh, you're a Tucson boy and you've got really deep roots. I want you to tell, I want you to share your story, Grandpa Paul, his relationship with Coach Olson. Yeah, my grandpa, you know, moved here in the middle ages, kind of when Coach Olson came here. You know, they bonded and they were great friends until Coach Olson passed. And, and what's, is, is, what's Grandpa doing now? Grandpa, uh, still working, still working, uh, loves Arizona, goes to every single game, still supports us a lot. And yeah, that's really all, all he does now. All right. Well, he's Tucson. You're from Sweden. How, how did how did you get sold on coming to Arizona? Um, well, basically, you know, Tommy and uh, Coach Murph uh, and the guys are already here. So I was at Utah and then decided to transfer and it was just, you know, perfect fit for me. And also, uh, uh, you know, this guy, I met him and then he really convinced me. <laughs> what, what, what makes it the perfect fit for you? Uh, just, you know, it's kind of, uh, people have said that uh, it's European style of college basketball, uh, uh, the way we play. And uh, also, you know, we had a lot of uh, uh, different type of guys on the team. And uh, when I got here, it was very diverse, and I like that. All right. Uh, we've got a diverse selection of salsas here, and hopefully you're going to like number two. Number one was Salsa de la Casa. This is called Mexicana right here. This is a really tasty one. This is Coach's favorite. He brushed his teeth with this one when it was all over with. Well, I didn't do much. Would you say that's your favorite? I like it better than the first one, yeah. Fair yeah. Enough. Fresher. Um, let's talk about you guys' golf games. <clears throat> All right. Um, because there's... there's uh, who's better? <laughs> I'd say myself. <laughs> Pelle. You know, it's in the summer, I would say myself. Now I'm taking a little bit of a break, you know. All right. Yeah, I got more important things to focus on. So maybe Grant's been practicing behind the scenes, but... For sure. Uh, <laughs> for sure. You no, know, he's a long hitter. Uh, oh, yeah. You like the llama? The I, long hitter? The long hitter, short yeah, game, definitely needs some work. Yeah, that's all for sure, you know. And what about you? What, what, what's the strength of your game? Putting. Putting? Yeah. And are you are you two one two or one one A, the best two golfers on the team? Because I understand there's a couple other guys who can hit it. Luke is the first Luke, guy that comes to mind. Luke champion, but yeah, he's Luke, an up and down player. Yeah, Luke is better than Grant, for oh. sure. But <laughs> They, those guys can fight, you know, for number two, and then we all know. <laughs> all right. Luke drank milk off camera. He probably wishes I hadn't said that. Oh, uh, let's see if you're going to need to drink milk before we get done here. It's not going to come after this next one, though. This next one is called Salsa Verde. Mm -hmm. 
Still pretty chill. Yeah, not bad, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little sweet. Uh, who, who, who's the best cook on the team? Pal, Pal, you've been cooking a little bit recently. I've been cooking recently. What do you cook? I, well, I made, ironically, I made Swedish meatballs the other day. Okay. <laughs> Just because I was missing home a little bit. Uh, what makes yeah. a good Swedish meatball? Uh, you know, a good Swede making it. <laughs> <laughs> I think, probably. Yeah. All right, who's the best dancer on the team? Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Man, that's hard. I would say Luke Champion. Luke Champion. Yeah. Luke Champion, there, really? You know, he's confident. Very confident. Very confident. He snuck out of here without us getting any dance moves. Yeah, no, he's a good dancer for sure. How about the best dunker? Mm. Keyshawn. Yeah. Keyshawn? Keyshawn. Keyshawn oh, and KJ. KJ, yeah. It's a t like, it's any, t any given day, you know, it, it could be one of them. K KJ was the best salsa. -er. He was, he... Yeah, he's, from he, he, he's this exact, exactly. and his mother's Mexican, yeah, or his exactly. grandma, or his mother. Yeah, so he had no problem. Let's see if you guys have a problem with number four because it's heirloom habanero. Habanero, in and of itself, <coughs> uh, means there's going to be a problem. That's a big, big enough. That's right on the top, pellet. Right on the top. All right, for me now this starts to get a little spicy. Starts to get a little spicy. Like I wouldn't have that at a restaurant. You would not. You would say. I would stick with Verde here. Right. <laughs> well, we've got some good stuff ahead for you. Um, player, like who, 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 who's your favorite NBA player? Uh, <clears throat> Jokic. And and what for? Or is that an obvious answer? Because he I does mean, everything well. Yeah, I mean, he's the best right now, uh, but I, I liked him, like, even a few years ago, he was my favorite because he just, I don't know, he just makes people look stupid, I feel like. Who's the greatest Swede to ever play basketball? Hmm. I'd say Jonas Jurepko or Jeffrey Taylor, both guys play in the NBA, so All right. one of those. Do you have a favorite NBA guy? Steph Curry, probably. Steph Curry? Yeah, it's the most fun to watch. And is that on the scout team? Can you, can you fire? Is that, is, that, is that reference Boogie Ellis? How do you yeah, fire from anywhere? Exactly, yeah. I wish that could be Steph Curry on the scout team. How many brothers and sisters do each of you have? I have two younger sisters. Okay. I had an older brother. You have an older brother? Yeah. All right. Oh, brother, here we go. Uh, number five, Arbel. Okay, just one name. It's like a soccer player, Arbel. All right. Go ahead. You gotta mix it a little bit. Are you good enough for you? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. A lot of the a lot of the fellows have talked about culture. What when 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 that's when that talk when I say culture, what's that mean to you? Swag, playing hard. I think everyone getting along and doing their role. I think that's important what Tommy says. You know, you can't be selfish. You have to play your role, box out. If your job's to play defense, to get loose balls, and you have to do that to the best of your ability. Is swag a four letter word for confidence? Yes, basically. Okay. That's Tommy's word, swag. <laughs> yeah. All right, what about you, pal? What's culture Yeah, you? I mean, I, you know, I think about the culture of Arizona. I mm -hmm. mean, it's a great culture and a lot of history. So, you know, every time we play, we just, we're just trying to honor that and the guys that came before us. And that's, you know, by playing hard and with high effort and intelligence. So. How are we feeling? How's, how's your mouth right now on a scale no, of one to I, 10? Th this one was hotter than that one. Yeah, I agree. Uh, that one, I was, it look, looks dangerous. I was right. a little bit let down. But. Right. right. You know where danger lurks. <sighs> Number six. Number six, it's that time. This is called Chin Chingana. Got a thing called a ghost pepper in it. Oh, brother. Which you're, well, you're probably familiar with, Grant, yeah, being, I, being a local here. I, I think it's <laughs> No, you think it's cool. I'll see how big yours You're going to match me? Yeah, I'll match you. Oh, Lord. I have a bigger chip. Mm -hmm. Give it a second, it'll find you. It's not mild for sure. I play that much. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. It's fine. 
It's hot. Though. It's hot. It's hot. Is it getting hot in here? Yeah. It's you gotta enjoy it, boy. You, you guys want to talk about your feelings right now, or should we talk about just the Arizona fans? I think I can talk about his feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Arizona fans. I mean, every and you don't have to. You, you don't have to be from here. You can just be a, a college basketball fan. And when they talk about the, the great fans, they talk about University of Arizona fans. What, what's what's that fandom bring? Uh, how would you describe it to an alien? Hey, when you come to Arizona, you go to McHale. This is what you're going to see. Well, being from Tucson, I obviously grew up a fan when I was younger, and Tucson's a small, big city, and Arizona basketball is what everyone likes. So McHale's loud. Zona Zoo, I think, is the best student session in the nation. I think everyone lives and breathes Arizona basketball here. So the city, you know, supports us. And I think it's a great feeling to have. What about you? When you walk out there, what do you see when you look up in the stands? I mean, first I just hear like the band playing and that gets me hype, you know. And then I see a lot of people that I would see like outside in the community and a lot of people that I've met. Let's say, you know, I have season tickets for this and this long and just to see them and then have a connection with them is, is pretty awesome. How's your mouth feeling right now? Uh, I'm hot. struggling a little bit, I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> now, you're, you're from Sweden, Abba's yeah. from Sweden. Do, yeah. do we need to put SOS on the loudspeakers right now? <laughs> uh, I don't think so, these cats were just fine. Now, that does it for another episode of Mild Cats versus Wild Cats. Uh, you wanna check this out, it's gonna be on the Arizona Wildcat YouTube station that not only has basketball, but has all things cool related to University of Arizona <laughs> Athletics. Until then, salsa up.